I've been coming to Florida for the last three winters. I worked for Philip Dutton for five years, I think, and he wintered in Aiken, and I got the bug to come to Florida and train actually with Scott Keach. And so it's great that we now have this new barn that's built right next door to him. Um, how is your winter season going? Yeah, it's been quite good so far. This weekend I was thrilled. I had um, my new upper level horse, Catalina, be second in the three star at Red Hills. and. Stella Artois and Woodstock Salona be first and second in the intermediate, so we're all quite happy right now. Very good. And the rest of your horses, how are they coming along? Yeah, it's kind of exciting because I've got a string of upper level horses now um, that I've been producing myself, and that's kind of exciting for them to go from being just young horses on to starting to climb the ranks and have a bit of a string at the upper level, which is really exciting for me. Congratulations. With so many different horses, how do you adapt to each individual? Um, I've been riding since I was quite little, numerous horses. For some reason, I've always just enjoyed getting on every different type, whether it be an Arabian or, you know, whatever, fox hunting, endurance riding. I've kind of done a little bit of it all. Uh, so for me, going from horse to horse is just normal for me, and I like kind of learning what each horse likes specifically and being able to adapt and ride to both. Very good. Um, what specifically have you been working on? Well, I think with eventing it goes is you're always jack of all trades, a bit master of none, so you're always working on a bit of everything. I think I'm quite lucky because I am based next to Scotty and uh, he's a very good showdown rider. So that's been a huge uh, you know, benefit to my program being near such a good showdown rider and really working on that. I think my results have gotten better and better in that phase. Uh, lucky because we ride with Jackie Brooks who bases in Wellington for the dressage so she comes up and coaches us a fair bit and then since the eventing showcase and whatnot I head down to Wellington a little bit myself. Good and with Rolex coming up um, have you worked on anything in, in particular besides your show jumping? Um, I think Catalina is a green horse at the level uh, so for her to go to Rolex is quite a big ask so just keeping her good in all three phases. Knock on wood uh, we had Philip Dutton come down a couple weeks ago and did some show jumping and dressage and uh, cross-country schooling and I just with all my horses I'm always working on them being the best they can be in every phase. So Rolex will be a big ass for this mare but we'll see how the fork goes but as Red Hills went I don't think I could be much happier with it. Okay if, you, if you're qualified which horse do you think will be going to uh, Catalina would be my main horse for the Olympics that's why I've applied with the Kimbaldas out of commission at the moment so we'll be seeing it next. What are your personal strengths? Um, I think my work ethic probably would be what most people would say, and I'm a very competitive individual. Also, probably my adrenaline uh, addiction, um, a need for speed and a bit of everything, and have no problem pushing the limits in most things. So, I think all those things kind of go together to make you probably a good event rider, but maybe a little bit of a chancy individual. But um, no, I think I just I enjoy going out there and giving it my all. I try to do that every day. How about your weaknesses? Mm, probably my uh, competitiveness can probably be a detriment at times. I just want to be so good all the time. Um, but I think that that's a mental game that everyone plays. Uh, I think that probably would be my, my, I'm a bit tough on myself. I think most people would probably say that and maybe a bit one-sided and uh, this is a bit of everything to me. But I think most really top professionals are the same way. Very good. Um, which competition do you count on? Well, this year I believe Great Meadow, uh, which I was lucky enough to win last year on Kimbaldo, will be the final outing for that event. So obviously it would be wonderful if uh, I could have a similar result with Catalina this year. <laughs> so that was a bit, that was pretty amazing, and I know that got me my spot on the to travel with, to the team um, with the team to Toronto. So I think Great Meadow would be an event that obviously they need to go well at Rolex. That's just for me to be considered. That's going to be a necessity, but Great Meadow is the final outing. So we'll see. And after I barely can play tomorrow, so I try to keep things uh, in a day-by-day -day range, to be fairly honest. 